Hi, my name is Bailey Morgan. I'm the materials manager here at Crown Equipment. Very nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Kelly Morgan. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you, Kelly. So today I want to run down the schedule of what the interview will be like. I do have my notes here, so if I'm looking down, that is why. Um, so first, I want to start with saying that the interview shouldn't last any more than 30 minutes. Okay. Um, first, I'll just ask you some questions. I'll tell you a little bit about the position, some information more about it uh, that you may not know, um, and then we can go over any questions that you may have. Um, I will use uh, my pen here to jot down your answers each time, take some notes, and at any time that you have questions, you can stop and ask me. Thank you. Yeah. Before we start, is there anything that you need? No. No, thank you. Um, I first just want to learn more about your education. Uh, can you tell me more about your educational experience um, in regard to your major? Um, my educational experience is through Ball State. I have a four-year degree in business administration. Great. I remember seeing that on the resume. Um, I also graduated from Ball State. Did you? Great. Yes. And what was your major? Um, communications. Uh, why would you like to work for us? Well, I think that my education would help me in the role that I am applying for, which is in the purchasing de department. Right. Um, the material scheduling planner um, is an admin role. It's one that would keep me busy and on my toes, and I, I just think that I'm a person that, that needs that. So uh, what I'm hearing is that you definitely would fill the position well. Yes. Okay. Great. Awesome. Um, tell me about a time that you were given the task of creating a project on your own. Just you. Okay. One of the, the tasks that I was given was for a new system that we were, were going to be running. We were moving from um, one system called Bond and we were going into 360 and I had to set up all of the parts and the materials, all the item data um, that goes with producing the parts that we set up, that we run on our machines on a daily basis. Was that a, a difficult project that you were doing on your own? Do you feel like you had enough time to do that? It was very time consuming. Um, we have thousands of parts, and regardless if we run them once a week or if we run them, run them once a year or once every other year, all that item data has to be entered. There's um, several different menus that have to be completed, so it's just very time-consuming. Yeah, it sounds like you've had a lot of experience in this field. Um, suppose that you heard some of the workers in the office that you would be working in uh, stole some of the work supplies and they took them home. How would you react to that situation? What would you do? Well, I am totally against stealing, so I, I would think that that would need to be reported. Yes, thank you. Um, next, I want to give you a situation. So, we are currently struggling with restarting our safety protocols due to an incident that happened in the factory last month. Um, in this area, how do you suggest that we approve upon relaying new safety pr uh, protocols to employees as um, if you were to fill this position? Well, I brought some notes myself that I'm going to review, yeah. if you don't mind. Um, one of the things that, that had, um, I struggled with was an incident, a safety incident, in fact, that we had okay. had at, at the facility I'm working at where a person had been killed. Oh, wow. um, not only was he struck by a fork truck, but he had family members that worked there as well. So he actually got up and moved around and tried to go to the other places of the, in the plant so he could locate his family just so That's he would be good. able to let them know, you know, that he loved them or what the situation was. And, and so it, it, it was, it was very, um, Emotional. Mm -hmm. I didn't really know the person, but just to know that he that that's what he was going through in his last minutes. And so I think that retraining is always something that needs to be done with safety um, daily at meetings, um, weekly plant meetings possibly. 
um, safety should be the, the number one priority in every facility. Thank you so much for sharing that Thank story you. with me. Um, I appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, before I go on for the other half of my questions, do you have any questions so far uh, about any of the questions that I've asked or anything that has come into your mind? No. Okay, great. How, what does the word teamwork mean to you? Well, I would say that as a whole, a group of your peers are presented with a project that they need to do mm -hmm. and they come to a common goal in the end. Perfect. I want you to tell me about a time you had to deal with a difficult situation with a supervisor. Mm -hmm. How did you handle that? Well, we had a situation where I was in a meeting with a couple other individuals and my supervisor got upset with me about something I think she thought I miss that I interrupted her is what I think it was the case and she immediately started yelling at me telling me to shut up and that I need to quit doing this and so rather than try to defend myself I just thought it was the best thing for me to just to get up and walk out of the room which is what I did. Okay. What do you think are some of your strengths and weaknesses? Well, I wrote some of those down too. Great. Love to hear them. So, I'm a, I feel like I'm a team player. Mm -hmm. Very confident. If I'm giving a, a task, I complete it and I finish it on time. Um, I feel like I'm very approachable, um, a comfortable person for others to approach if they have any questions um, or feel like they have an issue that they can come to me. Um, I feel like they, 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 I feel like people do that now. Right. They come to me for that. Yeah. What do you think are some of your weaknesses? I have no weaknesses. No. Okay. <laughs> um, empathy, possibly. Um, I'm, I'm a very feely kind of person, and so if um, someone comes to me with an issue, then I can relate to that. Um, I kind of border on leaning towards feeling for them rather than wanting to fix the problem at mm -hmm. hand. Yeah. And so, you know, I've been working on that a little bit myself over the years, and, and I'm getting better with that and trying to not be judgmental or not to put myself in their shoes. That could be difficult, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. What does a successful career look like to you? Well, regardless of what position I'm in, um, I want to grow with the company. And as long as I'm doing the best at what I, what I can for, my, for the person I'm employed for, um, I feel like that's success to me. Great. And my final question here, if you join our company, where would you like to see yourself in five years? Well, I would like to be a leader. I've known purchasing and I enjoy doing that role. So I would like to see myself in that position of purchasing leader. Great. So now I want to tell you a little bit about the position that um, maybe wasn't on the application. Um, and then, like I said before, we can go over any questions after that. Um, I will. I have my notes here with um, some specific uh, topics and concepts I want to tell you a little bit about the company. So if I'm looking down, that's why. Um, first, I just want to say that Crown Equipment is a worldwide company. And we are 89% integrated. And most companies can't say that, so that's very awesome. Um, for your position specifically, you would be in charge of 42 machines and planning the schedule for running those parts for customers. Uh, it's a very busy place. Uh, it's a great company. Um, Sounds like it. If you have any other questions, I would love to hear them now. Any specific about the position? Well, as far as all of the machines, would I be the only person in that role for that department? Uh, you would be in charge of those 42 machines, okay. but you would have other coworkers, yes. Yes, okay. Overtime, is that allowed? 
Um, we don't uh, require overtime, no, and it's we don't have it as uh, an option for people to do right now. Okay. Um, the hours of the position. For your position, position specifically, it would be six to three. Okay. And then obviously you would have your specific uh, days off or sick leave, anything like that. That would come with the benefits that we already went through previously. Okay. And what about the dress attire? With it being a plant, are we allowed to wear jeans or am I to wear work attire that's casual or formal yeah. or? Yeah, uh, great question. Uh, exactly what you're wearing now would work if since you would be in the office. Okay. And um, if you obviously went out onto the floor where the machines are, you would need safety, uh, safety shoes, um, and we could PPE go over those for safety too. glasses yes, and that sort. Yes, for safety glasses. Um, but yeah, for the office, you can wear business professional um, dresses, dress pants. Um, we don't allow jeans in the office, so okay. just keep that in mind. Okay. Um, just whatever you're comfortable with, which I like to dress up. Yeah. So I will actually take this information from our meeting or our interview today, and I will get back to you in no later than 10 days, and we can talk more then. Okay. And then I actually have my business card here that has my name and uh, my number and my email on it. So if you need anything before then or you have a question that um, you think of before then, you can always uh, reach out to me that way. But it was really great meeting you. It was Thank very nice so to meet much. you. Thank you.